welcome to this painting tutorial. I would like to start by thanking Mike Steiner for donating this miniature and as you can see it is an Imperial Guard Cadian Sentinel. Uh, I hope you like this model. It's a really simple Cadian scheme, the one that you see on the box, though this is the Cadian version of the uh, Sentinel with the top closed. So I'm going to do here what I almost never do. I'm going to use an airbrush to prime the miniature and to apply the first colors to the armor of the vehicle. As you can see, I'm using a very, very uh, cheap airbrush. That's the one I have. And I'm applying the polyurethane white primer from Vallejo. The PSI is at around uh, 25 to 30. I don't really pay much attention to that. I uh, just uh, find the PSI on which I think it's uh, doing a good job. If I need more pressure, I, I turn it up a notch a little bit. But... Uh, this is just a priming. It's uh, very simple. As you can see, I'm doing it with a $15 airbrush, and uh, it's very, it's very easy. Now here, you, of course, you have to make sure that the uh, primer gets into all of the little cracks and crevices, and be sure to have the model completely covered, like I have in here. Also, you may want to use some protection from your hand so that it doesn't get stained and, uh, and that sort of thing. But uh, I don't. I don't usually do it because I don't. I'm not an airbrush guy. I don't really uh, use the airbrush that much, so I do. I really don't mind that. What I'm doing now is I'm using the black polyurethane primer and I'm uh, coloring in some shadows, some pre-shading. Uh, for the next step for the color and uh, Yeah, I'm using the black pulling in primer through the airbrush as the same as the white But just from the bottom and the places where you want to uh, have shadows just uh, looking for uh, Those uh, very uh, dark places on the bottom and those hidden places to paint in black and uh, Yeah, it should look like some something like this When I'm using the uh, the primers, uh, they're already thinned down to use through the airbrush as is. Although my black was a little bit thick, I don't know if it's if it's because it's old, but I just add a little bit of uh, water to help it out, help it out a bit, and uh, and that's it. Now this is how the model looks after applying the shades. As you can see from the top, it looks almost white, from the bottom looks uh, black. Next I'm going to use Castellan Green, or Castellan Green, and through the airbrush I'm going to apply a very thin layer of this paint all over the model, and I'm going to start building the opacity uh, little by little. Just I do apply a uh, some uh, water and glaze medium in equal parts to help as a, well the glaze medium is a drying retarder the water is thinner the glaze medium I found that it really helped me out a lot uh, sometimes it takes a little while to dry on the miniature if you use a little bit too much uh, glaze medium but that's fine it's gonna you can get a uh, dryer a hair dryer and uh, speed up the process if you would like but uh, yeah yes just, just use water and glaze medium or airbrush thinner it's better of course uh, in recoil parts uh, the water and the glaze medium and uh, try to get the paint to a milk consistency I know that's uh, uh, said a lot around the internet but it's really that it's when the paint clings to the edges of the of the paint cup and uh, slides off and leaves a, leaves a little bit of transparent uh, uh, look to it, like like milk. So, uh, if you have seen any other uh, 
uh, airbrush painters, you may know what I mean. Here I'm going back to the shadows with the black primer, just to redefine the shadows a little bit more and uh, exaggerate them, because I really like the look, uh, the very uh, contrasting look at, at, uh, at the beginning, and the end result uh, turned out a little bit too subtle for me. But uh, if you like it like it was, you can leave it like that. But uh, to my taste, I want very, very deep shadows and uh, a good uh, transition like this. Also, the Castellan green is a very dark green. So black uh, works just fine as a shadow for it. And this is how the model looks uh, at the end of uh, the airbrushing. I hope you liked this tutorial. Stay tuned for the next part of the tutorial, you can follow the link here. And as always, if you like this tutorial, like, comment and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later.